You must be Charlotte. I'm so happy you could join us for our policy circle. Please come in. Thank you. I was so excited to be invited. Okay, first things first. Charlotte, would you like coffee, tea, or wine? A coffee, please. As you know, we formed our policy circle to learn about the impact of public policy on our community and how to become influencers. Tonight, we're talking about economic growth, specifically job creation, which creates opportunities for everyone to better their lives. We have 20 ladies, so we will divide into two circles, one with Simone in the kitchen and one with me in the living room. Okay, newcomers. First, we do a roundtable discussion where each of us shares what we've learned from the brief and how we can influence policymaking in our town and our state. Remember to be respectful so everyone has time to share their thoughts. All right, let's break into our circles, ladies. Why don't you stay here with my circle, Charlotte? I'm the facilitator, so I'll be asking the questions from the brief to keep the discussion flowing. Tessa, our timekeeper, keeps us on track and is allowed to interrupt when someone is too passionate. Ahem, Olivia. You only have 15 more seconds to finish this intro. Oh, who will keep a few notes? Karen? Court stenographer by day, circle stenographer by night. We also have Brianna, Joan, and Eleanor. Hi, how are you? Hi. Nice to meet you, I'm Charlotte. How are you? Oh, I'd like to volunteer to be the group reporter this time. So I'll take a few notes and speak for our group when we reconvene with the others. Oh, and everyone, this is my friend Charlotte from work. Thanks for having me. This will be so much fun. You will love it. The ladies are great. Time to start. I learned so much from the brief. It really challenged some assumptions I had. Can you believe it? It takes 32 days in the city for a professional like a manicurist or a barber to obtain a permit. It should be easy for people to innovate, start a business, and hire people, not harder. Small businesses are the job creators. Is the government really the problem? What about education? Doesn't that affect economic growth? Today, the school where my brother's kids go is a dropout factory. And with no skills, they have no opportunities. Plus, my niece wants to be an engineer, but only 30 and 100 graduates from her high school are- Great point, Brianna. I'm just doing a time check. It's time for everyone to come back together. Let's have each reporter share what each group discussed and how we can make a difference. Ooh, I'll coordinate contacting our representatives. I'll track down what policy changes are a part of the legislative agenda for our state. Who'd like to track when our representatives are holding town hall meetings? Hard to believe, but it makes a big difference if we show up and ask questions. Can I do that? Of course you can. You're our town hall tracker this month. Thank you so much for organizing this. I came nervous to discuss, but felt validated. I really learned from reading the brief and from all of you. What a great group of women. Cheers to that. (laughs) 